hello my lovely year 12s we are a few weeks into um your new subject a few weeks into six four into college so i really hope that you've settled into things that you're beginning to find your stride um and that you feel like you've made the right decision if you still don't feel like you've made the right decision spend some time over half term really thinking about the why if you have generally made gen generally genuinely made the wrong decision in your choice of our courses or whether it's going to college or whether it's going to an apprenticeship then don't just stick at it for two years making yourself miserable life is too short to do stuff that makes you properly miserable spend some time really looking at your options you do have to stay in education but you don't have to stay in the education that is making you miserable um however if you are just finding it a bit hard at the moment then that i don't think is a reason to give up because um a levels are a bit harder than GCSE there is a lot more content to learn and the content we have to learn is harder and the way that we get examined or assessed on that content is different to the way um, it is done at A level there are a few things you can do to make your lives better I would strongly suggest uh, talking to your teachers talking to the rest of the class about implementing a cake quota um, this can work in nearly every single subject. Um, it doesn't have to be a cake rotor, it can be a savoury rotor. Um, I was in a school once where um, the sixth form was cooked lunch and brought it in and uh, they did a very, very impressive whole Christmas lunch which everyone bought in. One person bought in the turkey, one person bought in the roast potatoes, another person bought in the crackers. You know there are lots of fun things you can do in your lessons to make them more enjoyable while you're still learning the content which is a bit harder. The joy of sixth form is that it is a bit more relaxed, it is a bit more you know you're probably wearing suits maybe business dress so it can be a bit more formal but you can also have a bit more of an informal relationship with your teachers because they will generally sit around with you and chat a bit more um so it can be a lot nicer being in sixth form because teachers know that you genuinely want to be there studying that subject and you give a lot more and you get a lot more back so there are lots of ways to make a level lessons a bit more fun cake rotors you know routers for doing things are, are a great way to do that it is really really worth setting up a whatsapp group for your class so that you can share resources so you, you can just ask oh what was the homework or oh, i didn't get that um it's really really useful if you can get your teacher to give you the powerpoints this is quite a common thing so either have them uploaded say in your like vle or your school intranet and then print them off and download them and have them in your folder before the lesson so that you don't actually have to write um, everything out or, you know, have a look at what's coming up next in the textbook so that you've just got a little bit of an idea what is going to be happening in the next lesson. There are also little changes that you can make um, to make things easier. I'm going to do a whole series of videos on how to study. So how to do independent study, what sort of things you should be doing and how to revise and prepare best for your exams. So if you haven't got your folders, organized already then that is a brilliant thing for you to get sorted over this half term chances are the folder that you've been taking to and from school that you've got all your notes in is now absolutely jam-packed full of notes bits of paper and if you haven't been labeling those with the subject and the date properly it can be a little bit of a mess so your priority over half term is to get your school folder full of notes and then get it sorted and translated into your home folders all neatly written up adding in examples adding in the exam questions when you can find them and following up on anything that you don't understand so in the front of your folders checklists are a brilliant thing to put in there you can download these for free from my website when you sign up to the mailing list and you can just sit there with the whole topic videos and the checklist going yep i know that bit i'm going to tick it off no i don't know that bit i need to go and follow that up either go and watch one of my teaching videos or follow it up in your textbook another brilliant thing to do is to start doing some short retrieval questions or multiple choice questions now there are two different easy easy ways that you can do this i have loads of them for you on my website and this isn't 
loads and loads of time this isn't loads and loads of pressure no one's going to see this but just think about the topics that you've done so far this half term and then spend 10 minutes doing a few little questions on them and that little bit, little bit, little and often, little and often, little and often, will slowly, slowly build up the knowledge in your head so that when we come to mock exams or when we come to um, your actual full A-level exams, then we should have lots and lots of knowledge in there. Or you can use the retrieval questions in the books that I've written for you. Um, so the ones that I've written in part of the Oxford Advice series have just won loads and loads of prizes for being awesome and excellent. And I know they say revision books on them, but there is absolutely no reason you can get them now and start doing it now. Um, you don't have to do the, the exam questions, but just do the retrieval questions to make sure that the knowledge that you have from the first half term is really, really secure. But I am not telling you to start doing papers. I'm not telling you to do loads and loads of stuff. We are looking at really, really short questions. We're looking at retrieval questions. Just stuff to get the core knowledge in there. Stuff like making flashcards is a really great thing you can spend this half term doing. It's really, really low stakes. You don't have to do too much thinking about it. But if you... Um, for example, for A-level body, there are loads of new words that you need to learn. So you could just get my glossary book and then start making all the flashcards from that. And then you've got some lovely, perfect exam answers and you're learning because you're writing it all out and you're looking up the definitions. But then you also have a massive, brilliant resource ready for you um, when it comes around to actually doing the exam. Now this is a two year course that you're on, hopefully we'll finish it in two years, although lots of people go on to reset parts of it, all of it, and go on to do year 14. There is absolutely no shame in that at all, especially if you're a summer baby. But this is a two year course, and it can be a long two years if all you do is study. So I really, really want you, over this half term, to come up with a project or something you enjoy doing. Now this could be something as simple as your EPQ around a topic that you're really, really passionate in, or it could be volunteering in the community. I know there's a group of six formers around where I live who have started up a shoebox campaign to like get like tea and biscuits and warm cozy socks to all of the old people in the town where I live. And that sort of thing, you know, you're getting together with a group of friends, you're doing something good, it will give you the warm fuzzies inside, it will look amazing on your UCAS application form. Obviously that's not the only reason we do kind things for other people, but it will look amazing on your UCAS application form. So it is the sort of time that we just start thinking about our extracurriculars. Now extracurriculars, I don't mean things that are just hard, extra, more hard work for you. Things that are fun, things that you enjoy, but things that you can talk about with interest and you can talk about with passion when we come in a year's time, when we are thinking about our UCAS application form. Softly start thinking about that now, especially if you want to be going on to do medicine or veterinary or any of the... Um, really really high competition degrees or getting into a high competition um, at university then we are going to need some lovely extracurriculars on there to look nice. Things like being an ambassador at school they are always great and helping out in the lower years they're always great great things to do but generally everybody has that. Um, you know things like starting a litter picking campaign, lovely, that yeah, gets you outside. You can start up a little business doing dog walking, brilliant, gets you outside, earns yourself a little bit of money. Start a little, little business doing car valley, 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 thing, valley, valley. You know, that sort of thing that looks great because it's entrepreneurial, you're taking the initiative, um, you're getting out, you're talking to people, and you're making a little bit of money at the same time. So stuff like that is stuff that we can start to think about um, and put in place. It could even be something as simple as, you know, starting a blog on how to revise, helping GCSE students or something like that. Starting a little Etsy store or there are so many things that you can do that will count as an extracurricular which will really, really help your mental health by giving you something else to think about 
potentially making you a little bit of money, getting you outside, exercise, and looking awesome on your UKS application form. Um, gosh, I have given you quite a lot to think about over half term, haven't I? So, um, get your school folders sorted, get your home folders sorted so that they are beautiful and organised. If you're confused what I mean about school folders and home folders, then go and watch one of my um, older videos on how to organise your folders for school. Um, and then start to think about some nice things that you can do so you don't just go crazy studying for two years. Um, I'm working really, really hard getting all of the whole topic videos finished. So by the time we get to the end of year 13, I should have them finished for you. For maths, chemistry, biology, for all exam boards, for all units, potentially psychology we finished as well. I'm working really hard. Um, anyway guys, um, I'm going to be here with you the whole way and together we can do this. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.